DHCP Option 43 provides a standardized way for clients to receive vendor-specific configuration information from a DHCP server. This tutorial will guide you through the process of configuring DHCP Option 43 and PFSense so that your unified access points or switches will reach out to your unified network server that is either on a different subnet or hosted externally on a remote network, which is how we manage devices for our clients, and get them ready for adoption. So let's get started. Now, I want to start here with this blog post at tcp.wtf, and the full URL is linked down in the description below, because this doesn't just explain how it works. It will help you generate the hex version of your IP address, so you don't have to do those hexadecimal conversions, or some of you can skip ahead because you can just do that in your head. What we have here is when you set the string up, it's supposed to be set up as a hexadecimal string. It does have the option for IP for DHCP option 43, but that's not how it works for Unify. It will not just accept an IP address being there. We need to first set the string to be hex. We need to use sub option of one, and we need a payload length of four, and then we need our static IPv4 as hex put right here. Now it's got a really simple converter to allow you to do this, and you have your Unify controller v4 ip you're probably thinking well can't you just put the fully qualified domain name and i've talked about when you have a self-hosted controller it's best to have a fully qualified domain name for setting it up and no you don't need to put that here you only put the ip address of where your controller is going to be whether that's public or private ip and it will automatically after adoption be replaced inside of the device with the proper fully qualified domain name. This is just to get the device to reach out from where it is to wherever you have your controller, whether it's on the same subnet or you have it remotely hosted because you set up something on a hosting provider or you're using a hosting service. You just have to know what that IP address is and set it in DHCP option 43. For example, if the public IP address was 172.234.197.213, we can just hit this little button here. There's our 0104, and there is the hexadecimal representation of it. The IP address of my server we're going to be using is a local IP. It's just on a different network across the VPN. That works too. So it's going to be 192.168.3.3. Six. We're going to go ahead and refresh. And there's our string 0104C08030306. So we can just simply copy this value. Now we head on over to our PF Sense, and we want to go to the network where the device will be adopted. You set this on a per network basis. It won't do it on all of them automatically. So we're going to go to this one, scroll down to the bottom, go to custom DHCP options. We put in 43, we change this to a string, and we paste in that value. Then hit save and apply. That's it. Now when we add a unified device, it'll automatically reach out. Now going over here to my Unify controller, and you can see 172. 161664 16, is my U6 mesh that I plugged in because I want to adopt it here. And I click to adopt. It will now adopt it. Now, once it's adopted, it's going to replace that 192.168.3.6 with the fully qualified domain name. So it'll reach back out to what that's set for. And you set that inside of the controller yourself under settings. Refer back to my video on setting up your own self-hosted controller if you're not familiar with that whole process, but that's all you have to do to get DHCP option 43 working. Now, there are other methods of doing remote adoption, such as DNS and using SSH. And I'll leave a link down below to a Unify article on that, but of note, especially these little Unify Flex mini devices, which I've recently reviewed the new two and a half gig one, you'll find it in the Unify playlist down below. I know that it does not support SSH. Therefore, that's not an option for adopting those. I think it does support DNS, but I've never had a problem with option 43 when adopting remote devices. So I think it's a great way to do it. And as you notice, it's really simple and it's supported across a lot of different DHCP servers. I just happened to do the demo with PFSense because, well, we use a lot of PFSense here. Love hearing from you. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. For a more in-depth discussion on this and other topics, head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com. Like and subscribe to see more content from the channel. Sign up for my newsletter. Check out the Unify playlist. And thank you. Thanks to our sponsors for their continued support.